Hello guys, welcome to Kindle Waste. Today I'm going to make a short video because a couple of viewers were so nice to share the location of two extra treasures, a hidden rooms, and then I got a treat for you. It's a room that I don't think anyone else has found yet, but I found it and I'm going to share it with you in this video. So stick around. Now the first one is actually in the room right after you teleport here on the right side. And uh, as always, the iron axe is very good at dismantling stuff. And here you got a little hidden room here. We've got some urns. And we've got a wooden chest. In this case, you know, fire wisp and some shroud uh, meteors, so nothing fancy. But I'll stay anyways, let's go to the next one. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is my cheat account because I decided that having cleared it so many times now, I just wanted to find, you know, be completely sure I found the last hidden rooms. Uh, so I decided to go on a cheat account and actually just scour the entire dungeon to make sure I got it all. Um, so yeah, that explains the 10,000 wisps of light and 7,000 grenades. And we can just take a little tip here because I actually, uh, a viewer previously told me that I should try the pickaxe. But then another uh, viewer actually commented, you, sh you should try the iron axe. And this is what the iron axe does. It's very efficient at destroying these spawners. So another one I missed is actually here inside this room after the first boss. Over here on the right hand side, you have a plain watch out in plain view, the secret door. So yeah, you can go in here. And let's just turn on light here. So we can see what we're doing. It's just a wooden chest, but this still counts. So yeah, now you know. Let's go find the next one. Now, just to save you some time, I'm going to give you a small tip here, because I did spend a lot of time, you know, rummaging around here, trying to find if there was anything secret placed up around here and all around on these mycelium. I didn't find a single thing. Um, so, if you find it, I mean, you must have looked way better than me, uh, obviously, but I would say don't waste your time on it, uh, because we're going to go up and find the next secret uh, chest up here. So, when you come to this point, this is just after you Tarzan over the uh, gorge here. There's a hook over here on an anchor. And initially I did find it strange, uh, because I thought it had to have a use. And then one of my viewers were kind enough to say, you know, go down here, drop down here and um, have a look. And then I came down and you find this doorway, which has been blocked by mycelium. We can just blow it away. And then you find another one of those stairwells that goes up. So just keep going up. Blow your way past all my mycelium. Keep going. And eventually you end up in a room. And this is a quite nice room because not only does it have one tomb here with a few materials. It also has this one here. In this case it was the sacrilegious steel sword. So yeah, and of course, in any of these rooms, I would always suggest that you kind of, if it's obscured, just you know, bomb your way around or clear so you can see if there are any hidden doors. Uh, in this case, there are none. So yeah, just wanted to remind you of that little thing. So yeah, let's get back out and find the next one. So here we are in the final boss room. Um, and I was curious what could that be up there because you know sometimes the chest gives up light and this one looks uh, kind of white whitish bluish so I thought I'd head up there and actually I went over here and bumped my way through and it turns out it's just uh, ectoplasm windows so nothing to uh, no reason to go up there and have a look for a chest or anything uh, it's the same one on this side so yeah spare yourself the trouble let's just go to the bus and just a little tip, in this case I don't want to fight the bosses because it takes way too long. In fact, it's easier just simply to, you know, smack down the door. And the iron pickaxe is pretty good at that. It takes a little bit of time, but eventually you will get through. And this is true for all boss doors, including the one in Nomad Highlands. And actually, this is another viewer suggestion, um, because I missed that in my first video. 
And when you're at here in this room, where you just killed the two first bosses and then the um, the flying lady here, you want to head in here and you want to go to the left side, over here with some, where there's mycelium. And if you get up to this point, you'll find a hook or anchor point. And I suggest you double jump if you can. Oops. Like so, because otherwise you might uh, fall down again and it can get a bit tiring. <laughs> so you get up here and you see, oh, there's not a staircase. But wait. It's not only that, uh, there's actually more to it. So we go first decades, just gonna put on Wisp. Blow your way past, don't blow it away too much here because then you can't get up. Um, get up here. And then you get in this room here, or kind of corridor. And let's see, how was it? It was over here, right? I do believe there was a chest inside here. Did I miss it? Uh, maybe I'm remembering wrong. And anyways, if you didn't go right here and bomb this place, there is another stairwell. This time it goes up, up again. Only blow away what is in your way. And you find a wooden chest. And let's see if there's anything else here. No, but this is actually... Just, you can get outside here, outside of the build, which is kind of uh, weird. You can get up again, so yeah, if you fall out, no worries. Okay. And the funny thing is, I remember there being a chest here as well. Uh, but apparently I was wrong. Um, so let's see what's down there. There's some tombs. Let's just check again here, because I... Pretty sure I saw a chest in here. Oh, there it is. So we've got a little bit of uh, material here. That's fine. But I just want to check out the next platform level here. That was outside. So if we drop down here. There's a little bit of a room here. Actually, I didn't go here before, that's why I'm kind of going silent now, because I'm as surprised as you are here. Uh, wow. Let's just check if there's anything behind this. No. This one you can open. It's a little bit of uh, consumables. And we got this one. Consumables. Oh, we got a stair. So that brings us back up, I guess. To the level we were just at. Oh yeah. Funny how I didn't notice that before, to be honest, because it was right there, the, the ladder. Oh, there's a vessel here. Nothing. Nothing. So yeah, a little bit of extra treat for both of us, right? Let's see. Can we, uh, oops. Blow this away. See if there's a hidden door here. It's probably just goes outside, I guess. Yeah, more outside. We can go have a look. See, it's just and it resembles that one I found in my other video where I went into the Deadly Shroud, Secrets of the Deadly Shroud. You can find that on my playlist. Um, but it, yeah, it kind of looks like that. Yeah, I guess. Some balls. Yeah. So that's all well, well and good. But no secret doors here, apparently. So let's get up again. I did smack this one down and it just takes us outside, so no need to do that. Um, are there anything up there? Doesn't seem like it, right? Nope. Well, we're gonna just head back down. So yeah, and we can dump, jump down here. And again, this is another example. We have uh, a symmetrical thing going on here, but I did blow this out and you can kind of tell um, if you go too far, if you go to a place where that was not intended because the graphics become jumbled or mixed up, you get some funny uh, rendering. Let's just see. 
if we go far enough it will start happening. It will show up like vertical lines and stuff. Once I've formed enough away here. And you can see the graphics are kind of slow at updating as well. So yeah. This usually indicates, that, to my experience, that this is not a place that we're, we're supposed to go. So yeah. And now for the final treat. The secret one that I do believe some people haven't found yet. Or most people maybe even. And here we are at the place where I think I found a hidden room or treasure that I don't think that many people have found yet. And no, it's not the uh, almost secret door here on the, uh, the left side. It's actually a room hidden over here. Initially, I did dig in a long way in here and didn't find anything and was like, okay, never mind. But it's just a question of digging far enough. So if you just keep going here, we can start to see some light coming through here. And this is where it is. Nice big room here with a wooden chest and a silver chest. So this is of course just consumables, but let's go and check out the silver chest and see what that has for us. We've got the glue mona gloves. 23, that's nice. And spurns. So yeah. Definitely make sure to, to uh, go grab this. So what do you think? Have you already found this place? And one thing I noticed is that uh, a lot of these rooms are actually uh, mirrored or, you know, symmetrical. So if you see a room like the one on the other side here with the door, you got to ask yourself, okay, could it be another room over here? So yeah, let me know what you think. Did I find something you hadn't found before? Put it out in the comments and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.